clay tablets preserve the secrets of the world's first civilization, the Sumerians of ancient Mesopotamia. Working with wet clay, they developed a system of writing known as cuneiform. They're evidence of the very first written communication between humans and as such they are very special indeed. Cuneiform documents cover largely the first half of human history as, as it's been recorded. Everything from political affairs right down to economic practices from 3400 BC right up to the time of Christ. It seems 4,000 years ago, people were just as concerned about their privacy as we are today. When they had important clay documents they wanted to seal, they put them inside clay envelopes. Now that's caused a major problem for archaeologists today. It's really important information, and if that information is sealed within an envelope, the only way we can read what's inside that envelope is to break the envelope and destroy it. So this is the traditional way of looking into one of these, just hacksawing in, and then you just sort of chisel it open. Yep. Good thing this is not the real thing. Just as well. And there you have the tablet inside. Yes. But gee, that's be very destructive. Just, I mean, that's an well, artifact in itself, it really, is. the outer shell. It is. So you're, you only then have half an artifact. While archaeologists searched for a better solution, many ancient texts remained unopened and unread until a chance meeting. I went wandering down on campus and found the Museum of Ancient Cultures and ran into Jane Mackenzie Clark there. She showed me around. And I think we spent about two hours talking about my research and he talked about his work. Thank you very much. OK, see you again. Bye-bye. He walked out the door and as a throwaway line, he said, I think I might have something that would help you look at some of these artefacts. And that's where it all started. As head of radiology at Macquarie Medical Imaging, Professor John Magnuson has access to a powerful tool which he thinks could reveal the hidden secrets. Now, this is quite a remarkable scanner, a baby CT scanner. It's the only one of its kind in the Southern Hemisphere. And it's not only smaller than the standard scanner, it's also far more accurate. The plan was to use the machine to virtually open the envelopes. We didn't know if it was going to work. We thought, well, since it isn't destructive, there's not much downside to giving it a go. It was an exciting prospect, and if the pair were successful, the technique could revolutionise archaeological science. Over the world, there are many thousands of cuneiform tablets. If we can use this technique to unwrap those tablets digitally, it opens up a huge amount of research information. So we should start to see something it's coming done. up shortly. OK. All right, oh, yeah, look at that. There's the part that you can see from the yeah. outside, and there's the partially broken, wrapped portion on the surface. They only have to scan an item once, and they have the data forever. And that's the ancient cuneiform script on the outside of that tablet. But it's the 3D model constructed from these data that is truly remarkable. Yeah, it's incredible. Yeah, you can. That's what is the resolution of that? It's about 75 microns yeah. or 75 millionths of a meter. You can pick out the exquisite surface detail, which is what you need to be able to try and recreate it and read what's going on. And what I'm going to do is virtually dissect or remove that outside layer. And now I can turn it around and have a look at the writing that's been hiding underneath. So no one's seen that writing for. Four or five thousand years. Yeah, the only person that's seen it previously is the one who wrote it. It's quite impressive. Yeah, it is. <laughs> and they haven't stopped here. This pioneering technique paved the way for another innovation 3D printing of accurate replicas. Being able to print something and put it in people's hands lets them actually connect to objects that are thousands of years old. You can also exchange. 3D objects online. So if we wanted to send a cuneiform tablet to a colleague in London, for instance, we could send them the data and they could send it to be 3D laser printed. 
This is a clone of one of those clay tablets from the 3D printer. It's quite remarkable, you can feel all the detail there. I'm holding in my hand here a document written more than 4,000 years ago. And in some ways, the replicas are better than the real thing. For example, I could tell the printer to blow everything up to one and a half times scale and get that where everything's big enough to actually read the writing. For ancient language experts like Dr. Lewis Sedell, this could open up a new understanding. Translation is always a, a difficult process, and particularly when you're dealing with uh, something that was written 4,000 years ago. My job is made considerably easier when you can enlarge um, very small tablets, and by enlarging it, it, you can actually clarify some of the signs that are there. So what was this 4,000-year-old secret? This tablet is an economic text, which is about the distribution of barley to particular individuals. We get a series of names. We may be able, in time, to link to other tablets. Thus providing a wonderful glimpse into the daily life of the ancient world. It is like looking at a time capsule. It gives you so much insight into that society and also what life was like in those times.